professional at the Barney Hills Golf Club. I'm going to give us a little exercise today, a little visual clue of how to get a, a feel for the early part of the backswing, the takeaway. Because what we do on the takeaway either will either make or break the rest of our swing. So it's important we do get off to a good start. We don't want to have a backswing or a takeaway that's dominated with any one part of our body. We don't want to dominate just with the shoulders. We don't want to dominate just with the arms. It's a one-piece motion where the shoulders, the arms, the club, our hips, all swing away together as one. Okay, so I want us to imagine a, a clock face that's sitting on the ground. We've got 12 o'clock position where the club's sitting. All the way around behind us, the opposite point, 6 o'clock. So when we start the backswing, Shoulders turn, the arms swing, we swing past one o'clock, we get to two o'clock and that's the point that we start hinging the right elbow and hinging the wrists up to the top of the swing. So all we're looking at today is the takeaway. So we're not starting the hinging at 12.30, we're not starting the hinging around here at 3.30. That's at the two o'clock point. As the hands brush past the right thigh, that's when we start the hinging. So if you imagine the, the buttons of your shirt and your belt buckle just connected together as one, turning, the arms swinging with the, the, the buttons and the belt buckle, at two o'clock we're hinging the right elbow and hinging the wrist. So that's just a simple little visual that gives you a, a, a clue to when to start the hinging with the, with the wrists and the right elbow. So practice that one at home.